Hello there, and welcome to the first installment of Today Let's Play. Many of you might know my channel for my Fallout 4 story videos, and if you don't know about those yet, feel free to give them a watch after this. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. But I enjoy playing many other games as well, and so I thought perhaps I would create a series of videos about some of them. I'll be looking at some mobile games and some console games, but in today's video I'll be looking at a very unique and exquisitely wonderful game that I play on my PlayStation 4. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I would be playing it on my PlayStation 5, but at the time of this video's publication I do not have a PlayStation 5. Darn you, COVID, and your subsequent supply chain issues. Darn you all to heck. Terribly sorry for the outburst. <laughs> Highly undignified. <laughs> My apologies. At any rate, I would like to talk to you today about one of the most delightful games I have played in a very long time. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is indeed something very special. And a lot of that specialness is all the little surprises and unexpected things you may discover along the way. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Now, I will be including some out-of-context gameplay footage here to avoid any spoilers, but if you'd rather not see any of the game at all, so it is a completely big surprise when you play it, then I suggest you only listen and do not look at your screen. Go ahead, go ahead and dim your screen if you like, or just look away, maybe out the window at some birds, perhaps. And for those who don't mind, or are even excited to be getting a tiny peek into Stanley's world, then I guess you don't have to do anything, but keep watching. I was first introduced to this game when I was watching Chase Yama play it in one of his live streams. Watching him play, I was utterly mesmerized. Why had I never heard of this game before? It is brain-squishingly silly, with brilliantly written dialogue, and the narrator, well, what can one say about that voice other than it is perfection for an endeavor such as this one? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. This game is an absurdist's dream, and one that I am completely here for. A Brief History of the Stanley Parable The Stanley Parable was written and designed by developers Davy Reedon and William Pugh, and was originally released in July 2011 as a free mod for Half-Life 2. It featured voice actor Kevin Brighting as the narrator, with creator Davey Reedon saying that Brighting's voice was, and I quote, half the reason this game has been successful. The mod was then rethought, revamped, and then released as a standalone game in 2013. And there was much rejoicing. Then, in 2018, it was announced that an expanded version of the game entitled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe would be released in 2019. Well, then there were a few issues along the way, namely a global pandemic that would delay the release of the game. Aww. But then, in April of 2022, the wait was over and the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe was finally available for all the world to play. And again, there was much rejoicing. Like selling more than 100,000 copies of the game in the first 24 hours on Steam. Wow. Nicely done, boys. The game. Okay, so this game 
is a story puzzle adventure game of sorts. Though the story has many different directions it can go, and there really isn't any puzzle per se, and the adventure is more of an existential exploration than any survival or shooter game. After all, in this game, you don't die. Well, most of the time you don't, but sometimes you can. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. And that right there is the true beauty of this game. The decisions you make are the most important thing there is. And yet, at the same time, your decisions have absolutely no meaning whatsoever. Everything is predetermined, and yet you have complete free will. This is a story of a man named Stanley. And then again, is it? Basically, the game goes like this. Stanley realizes he is mysteriously alone in the office building where he works. He goes to find his co-workers, but can't seem to find any clue as to their whereabouts. You control Stanley's decision, uh, most of the time, as he wanders about from room to room. There is a narrator that sometimes guides you. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Sometimes berates you. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Sometimes pleads with you to do or not do something. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. You can choose to do as the narrator suggests, or you can just do what you want. Either way, there are consequences to your actions, or inactions. Depending on what article you read, there are 19 or 20 different endings to the game. But is it an ending? Is there really ever an ending to this game? The thing I thought would eventually become boring was the constant restarting of the game, either because the narrator just threw a temper tantrum and wouldn't let me continue doing whatever it is I was doing. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Or because I had just reached the end of one of the many branches of the storyline, this constant restarting turned out to be a hilarious feature for me. Because although you do restart the game, the game is actually progressing in its own way. Some rooms are different, some rooms appear that hadn't been there before, while others disappear altogether. There is quite literally never a dull moment, with several of those non-dull moments being absurd enough to impress Albert Camus. The humor in this game strikes me as if you were to take a very large Dada-infused blender and put in giant scoops of Monty Python, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the Pee Wee Herman Show, the Live at the Roxy Theater 1981 version, with a dash of Salvador Dali, Hugo Ball, and Kurt Schwitters on top, just for a little bit of extra flavor. It has been said that the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is a video game made for gamers. How many times have you, yes you, gamer person watching this right now, how many times have you wanted to stray from the path of whatever game you were playing? You were perhaps curious about what was that thing over there at the edge of town, but you couldn't go explore it because whatever quest you were on didn't allow any time off from gathering blindle flowers from the Isle of Gnog. Or you were not satisfied with the A, B, or C decisions you were given to choose from in the middle of some adventure, but you'd rather pick D, Other. In the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, you don't have those worries. Here, destiny and free will work harmoniously 
in tandem with destiny laying out a map for you and you are free to explore wherever and whenever you wish. Well, except for when you can't. Uh-oh. Explaining the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is a challenging task. So with that said, I'm not sure if I've intrigued you or scared you off. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I hope it's the former, and not the latter, because I enjoyed this game so much more than I thought I would. And to be honest, I thought I would really enjoy it. But then I ended up absolutely loving this brilliant and ineffable game. Five crowns! So, have you played the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe? If so, what's your opinion of the game? Did you love it as much as I did, or did you, meh, not so much? Or have you played any other iteration of the game? Leave a comment below and let me know what your experience was like. Well, if you want to, of course. I certainly don't want to tell you what to do. That whole free will thing works here too. I'm Lady Imperatrix, and I thank you for watching. Happy gaming, everyone, and we'll see you next time for another installment of Today, Today Let's Play. Let's Play.